Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Legislative Lens Spotlighting State Laws Podcast. Continuing with the great state of Texas, we're going into another law that was passed during the regular session of the 88th legislation cycle, legislative cycle. It was House Bill 3297, better known as removal of the vehicle yearly inspections. Uh, they are beginning in 2025. Uh, Texas drivers are no longer to be required to have a vehicle yearly inspections uh, or need to have passing annual inspections. And so that will be removed from the state law. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's talk about it. So in the, in the context of understanding, every year upon the renewal of your registration for your car, which is a yearly thing here in the state of Texas, uh, you would have to go have your car conduct be have a car inspected by a state inspection area uh, mechanic. Uh, usually, those are mostly just local mechanics, also like oil change places, etc. Same thing would be considered like an emissions test. So let's kind of get into the middle of this. Uh, Texas is one of 13 states that manually uh, that mandates annual inspections at the moment, and that will change in about 18 months when they no longer require annual inspection. Uh, obviously, the main cause and the main reason for the annual inspections is to make sure the, the cars that are going across the roadways here in Texas are safe to do so. Um, many people in the state uh, really would see, you know, we all have seen it before, someone driving without a headlight or things like that or, maybe driving with a flat tire. So you, you kind of want to have these vehicles that you're driving side by side with to, to be safe. So this right here is also the removal of this, of this re inspection requirement is really removing um, kind of a cumbersome situation because some people, you know, it, it would pass and it wouldn't pass and you have to go back. It's just a cumbersome inspection situation. All right. So, Let's talk about this a little bit on what actually changed in the legislation, because there is some changes. You still have to pay certain fees on a yearly basis. You're still going to have to potentially get your emissions tested, too. So not everything has changed, but it's going to affect. You. So let's talk about it, shall we? All right. So the legislator, leg, the legislative situation here, the legislature repeal provisions in state law that mandate annual vehicle inspections. However, however, the $7.50 fee remains intact under a new name called the Inspection Program Replacement Fee. Really original. The 17 counties that require emissions inspections will still mandate annual tests regardless of the bill becoming law. So, there's 17 counties, which if you look at this list of counties, these are the largest counties by demographic and population in the in the state. Here we go. Brazoria, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, El Paso, Fort Bend, Galveston, Harris, Johnson, Kaufman, Montgomery, Parker, Rockwall, Tarrant, Travis, and Williamson counties all still require an emissions test. So you're still going to have to have you're still have to pay a thirty dollar emission test, okay? All Texas drive or all drivers um, outside the exempted counties stand to be affected by the legislation. So everybody else besides those people that live in seventeen counties, which are one of the most largest populated counties in the state, um, really. It'll be fine. You're just going to get charged your usual, you know, re re registration, new registration fee plus seven fifty. So they'll get their money one way or the other. All right. So the main reason why you know annual inspections are important back then was a study study mandate uh, mandated by the Texas legislature legislator uh, cycle in the House, and I think it's the eighty fourth or eighty third cycle. Uh, show that cars with defects such as ball tires or bad brakes were three years older than the average registered vehicle, which is nine years old. So almost a quarter of the people surveyed in the study were asked by a mechanic to fix slick or defective tires during the inspection, potentially preventing more accidents. 
So the main reason why, and this is the key key part of the study, was Texas highways are notoriously dangerous. At least one person dies on a Texas highway each day. According to the most recent state data, 4,500 people were killed in auto crashes in, during 21. And about, uh, so it, it really, really, really important situation here is to get away with, get away from having crappy cars driving down the street which was the reason for the inspections. However, however, with the removal of that, they're still going to get their money. And it's it's not like we're not going to be paying for it. So what really what it comes down to is, and this is what makes us laugh because this law was uh, co-sponsored uh, by Cody Harris of Palestine and Senator uh, Mays Middleton of Galveston. Uh, and, and Bob Hall of Edgewood also sponsored the bill. So here's what they said. They said these inspections are a waste of time for Texas citizens and a money-making Ponzi scheme used by shady dealerships to upsell consumers with unnecessary repairs. Texans are responsible, fiercely independent, and I trust them to keep their cars and trucks safe while on the roadways. Um So here's here's the funny part about the Texas legislature. You have a man by the name of Don Huffines, who actually Huffines family owns one of the largest car dealership empires in North Texas and um, was actually a supporter of the bill. You would think a guy that owns car dealerships would not be in favor of it. But representatives with Sheriff's Association of Texas, the Dallas County Sheriff's Department, uh, the, the Houston Police Officers Union, the state, the Texas State uh, Inspection Association, the Toyota Motor North America, also those guys lobbied against the bill. So what they're what they're lobbying for is really, you know, keeping everybody safe, right? So what it really comes down to, it's still going to cost uh, drivers about seven dollars and fifty cents compared to about twenty five or twenty dollars uh, that they pay for the state inspection only. The I'm not sure if the rates will go up on the uh, the emission side. So for drivers with new cars, either the current model or preceding model year that has not been previously registered in Texas, there will still be an initial fee uh, to cover for sixteen seventy five. Um, the Texas Department of Texas the Transportation Department estimates that the state's economy will lose fifty one point four billion dollars to uh, you know just to crashes alone. So let's talk about this, shall we? It, it there was no alternatives. And, and, and really what it comes down to is um, it will go in effect January 1st of 2025. The house vote, by the way, the vote on this was 109 to 32 in the house chamber and a 20 to 11 vote in the Senate chamber. So it was pretty much a, it, it, it was borderline States uh, party lines in the Senate and a little bit, so there's that. So what I really want people to focus on here in this law is that, yes, it removes a large amount of money that you're going to have to pay, but you still need to do some you know, personal responsibility here and actually upkeep your car and keep your car maintained so you, you keep the people around you safe. I understand not everyone's a worrying about other people type, but at the same point, you know, when it's time to get new, new tires, get new tires. If it's time to go do this, it's time to go do that. You know, it's it's a time. It's a time frame that you need to go take care of things, go take care of things. Um, but that was probably one of the most crucial laws that got passed um, in the regular session, as well as a couple, a lot of bills, actually. There was there's probably gonna be about 30 bills that I have to go through uh, and talk about here. So appreciate everyone joining me, as always, uh, on this episode. And I hope everyone sees this this huge law actually impact your life because it saves you from going all the way to the mechanic shop to get an inspection every year. So hopefully that would impact you greatly uh, as well as feel free to uh, join us on X at legislative lens pod uh, as well as YouTube. And I'm looking forward to seeing what people's reactions are to these episodes. And I hope that they're an informative and they're actually constructive to help you out on your daily life as well as, you know, there's gonna be some polls up there about what, what topics we might conduct, uh, what States we might talk about next. Uh, Cause it's not just one state we talk about. I know we're doing Texas first, but um, it's all states. 
So thank you very much for joining me on the Legislative Lens Spotlighting State Laws podcast. Thank you.